Buenos dias. In previous videos, we've looked at some irregular verbs in Spanish, such as the verb ser and the verb tener. For irregular verbs in Spanish, you have to memorize each verb to know its different forms. The good news is Spanish has many regular verbs that follow a specific set of rules. And once you learn that set of rules, you can use any regular verb without having to memorize it separately. There are three types of regular verbs in Spanish, AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. In this video, we're going to specifically look at AR verbs in Spanish, such as the verb hablar, which means to speak. With AR verbs, we have a specific set of endings that we add to any AR verb. And what we do is we take the AR off the end of the verb and we replace it with either O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, or AN, depending on what person we're talking about. So to look at the verb hablar, we're going to start with the infinitive form, hablar, and we're going to take off the AR from the end and add one of those endings to it. And so we will end up with hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablais, and hablan. And we're going to look at those one by one to make sure that you know which person they're used with, what they mean, and how they're formed. And like usual, we're going to start with the verb forms on the left side of the chart, which are the singular forms that we use when we're talking about one person. So we start with yo hablo. Yo hablo means I speak. To form the verb hablo, what we do is we take the AR off the verb hablar, and we replace it with an O, and that gives us hablar. That gives us hablo. The second form is tu hablas. You speak. To form this form, we take off the AR from the verb hablar and replace it with AS so that we end up with hablas. And this is the tu form, which means we use it when we're speaking to one person in an informal way, such as when we're speaking to a person we call by their first name, such as friends or classmates or children. If I want to say them, to them, you speak, I say, tu hablas. If I'm speaking instead to someone who I don't want to be so informal with, there's someone I call by their last names, maybe they're a stranger whose name I don't even know, or they're my boss or an older person, I will use the usted form, and so I will say, usted habla, which also means you speak, usted habla. And to form this form, I take off the AR from the verb hablar that we started with, and I add an A to it, and so we end up with usted habla. Usted habla. And we're going to use the same form habla if we want to say he speaks. Then it becomes el habla, for he speaks. El habla. We also use the habla form when we want to say she speaks. Ella habla. She speaks. Ella habla. So those are all of the singular forms. And now we're going to look at the plural forms on the right side of the chart. We'll start with nosotros hablamos, which means we speak. To form the nosotros form, we take the AR off the verb hablar and we replace it with AMOS. That gives us nosotros hablamos. We speak. The nosotros form is the masculine form that we use when it's a group of men or a group of men and women together. Nosotros hablamos. If it's a group of only women, we keep the word hablamos the same but we change the word nosotros to nosotras. Nosotras hablamos. This is the feminine form that we use when it's a group of just women with no men present in the group. If we want to say we speak. Nosotras hablamos. We girls speak. 
The next form is the vosotros form. Vosotros habláis. To form this one, we take off the AR from the verb hablar and we replace it with A with an accent mark, IS. Habláis. Vosotros habláis. This is the masculine form that we use when we're talking about or talking to a group of guys or a group of girls and guys together. It's an informal form. So we use it when we're speaking to people we know well or people we call by their first names. And it's a regional form, which means it's mainly used in Spain. So if I'm talking to a group of my friends in Spain, I will say, vosotros habláis. You guys speak. If it's a group of my friends and they're all girls, then I use the vosotras form. Habláis stays the same, but vosotros changes to vosotras. So I'd say, vosotras habláis. You girls speak. Again, those last two, vosotros habláis and vosotras habláis, are mainly used in Spain. Elsewhere, instead of vosotros, we'll use the ustedes form. This form is also used in Spain if we're talking more formally to people we don't know as well or to people we call by their last names. In the rest of the Spanish-speaking world, this form is used regardless of how well we know the people or how we call them by their first or last name. We use the ustedes form with them no matter what. So if I want to say you guys or girls speak or all of you speak, I say ustedes hablan. And for this form, there's no difference between formal and informal, except in Spain where they use vosotros. And there's also no difference between if we're talking to a group of girls or a group of guys. Ustedes hablan. You all speak. We form this by taking off the AR from the verb hablar and replacing it with AN to get hablan. And we're going to use hablan when we want to say they speak as well. Ellos hablan. They speak. This is the masculine form used when the group is a group of men or a group of men and women together. So if it's just a group of girls with no guys present, the verb hablan stays the same, but ellos changes to ellas. Ellas hablan. They speak. So here's an example of a sentence using the verb hablar. Rosa habla cuatro idiomas. Rosa speaks four languages. We use the verb habla with an A at the end because that's the ella form. Rosa habla cuatro idiomas. And A is the ending we put on the word when we want to say she speaks. Rosa habla. So again, we use these endings for AR verbs, and these endings are going to be the same for any regular AR verb. So we just looked at the verb hablar, but we can do the exact same thing with many other verbs. For example, the verb llevar, which means to wear when we're talking about clothing, or it means to carry if we're talking about something other than clothing. It has the same endings. We take off the AR and we put these same endings that we just used for hablar. And so we get these forms. Llevo, llevas, lleva, llevamos, llevais, and llevan. And here are the same forms with the pronouns. Yo llevo, I wear or I carry. Tú llevas, you wear or you carry. Usted lleva. You wear or you carry. Él lleva. He wears, he carries. Ella lleva. She wears, she carries. Nosotros llevamos. And nosotros llevamos. We wear or we carry. Vosotros lleváis. Vosotras lleváis. You guys or you girls wear or carry. Ustedes llevan. You guys wear or you guys carry. Ellos llevan. Ellas llevan, they wear, or they carry. To use that in a sentence, we can say, Nosotros llevamos uniforme. We wear a uniform. And then we're using the nosotros form to say, we wear. And so we use the ending A-M-O-S on the word llevamos. Another AR verb is mirar, which means to look at or to watch. Its forms are miro, miras, mira, Miramos, mirais, and miran. 
Same endings that we used for hablar, same endings that we used for llevar. Here's what it looks like with the pronouns added. To use this in a sentence, we can say, Ellos miran televisión. They watch TV. The verb here is miran with an A-N on the end because that's the form we use to say they watch. That's the ellos form. Ellos miran televisión. Another AR verb is estudiar, which means to study. Again, we're going to use those same endings. So we get the words estudio, estudias, estudia, estudiamos, estudiais, estudian. Here are those same words with the pronouns added. And when we use it in a sentence, we can say, Laura estudia para el examen. Laura studies for the exam. Let's look at another verb, tomar. Tomar means to take. We're going to add the same endings, and so we get the words tomo, tomas, toma, tomamos, tomais, toman. This is what it looks like with the pronouns added. And in a sentence, we will say, los alumnos toman un examen. The students take an exam. In this sentence, the verb is toman. And has the A-N ending because that's the ellos form, which means they take. Toman. Another AR verb is the verb sacar. Sacar means to take out, or it can mean to ch achieve, or to get. For example, when we're talking about getting good or bad grades. The forms are saco, sacas, saca, sacamos, sacais, sacan. When we use it in a sentence, we can say, Laura saca buenas notas. Laura gets good grades. 